Welcome back to the biggest, the baddest entertainment show in the 254. The Rob is watching right now. In case you're just tuning in, hey, this is Grapevine, baby. <laughs> As you can see today, Manzeniko in different locations. Yani ni Kongong Rescons, where the Grand Kung Fu, yani Kung Fu the Elegant, is going down, Manze. Yani this is, it's all about classic vintage cars, yeah? versus the modern car. As you can see, he up in a Ford A model 1929. Eh? Look at the classic car, any yani vintage car man say. Alafu kuna Mercedes, kuna Pujo, yani Pujo, Pujo to keep enda, Volvo na magari mob sana yani. It's all about, you know, vintage classic car versus the modern car competition going down. So I don't want to waste your time, baby. Let's go. Boom. There were once common cars in the streets that attracted no bystanders. Many generations later, the shining symbol of one's ordinary vehicle that received tender love and care can become an exemplary care in the eyes of generations to come. Being here was like a rewind of the time machine, admirers of the past century's beauty, understandably squeezing in for that nostalgic pose. Concours d'Elegance was the flavor of the month in any classic car collector's diary. and they thronged the Ngong Rescus in numbers on Sunday for the 2022 Automotive Edition. The event marks a return after a two-year hiatus. This year's edition is also a celebration of its 50th anniversary of the Concours d'Elegance in Kenya. It has remained the most popular event in the Kenyan motorsport calendar, a culture maintained by Alfa Romeo. For casual attendees, it's just another day to enjoy the Nairobi sunny day with family, a sunny day with a vintage sight though. But for the real classic machine fans, it's an edge competition with a really hefty prize. The judges spend the intense day judging vehicles on age, roadworthiness, interior and external finish, among other things. So a slight modification here. This is a, a Subaru EJ20 engine. The original version of this car had uh, a 1600 um, CC engine, which of course was underpowered the vehicle. And of course, as you, as you know, it was air-cooled, so it was prone sometimes to fires and things like that but now we put in a super engine it's water cooled conventional the radiator is actually under the car as opposed to in front and that's just because we didn't want to to spoil you know the front appearance of the car all in a day's work this year's golden model went to My name is Chalangat Bore. I am here because I love cars. I love all kinds of cars from like the modern make to the vintage uh, cars. I do Eric Forrester. I'm here to come see the classic cars. I'm a classic car lover. So I was super excited for the event since uh, it's been away for I think how many years? Three years three years since 2019 was the last one so i was super excited to see uh, what will be what we have been missing those three years i'm chap coach border a lover of vintage cars yeah that's the reason i'm here today looking for my next collection <laughs> the winner car the rolls royce 1923 it was so amazing, so beautiful. It, it, it gave, uh, you know, the, first the driver, 
the rave was so amazing. She, that that Kagalish look, yeah, I think I loved about it, about that.